Hunting season is upon us, and this will be a very eventful period, uh, in part because of lowered expectations. So ironically, the last quarter earnings season was extremely strong. Those numbers were ignored. Most of the time, stocks that posted results were slammed. Did this, though, create buying opportunities for us now? Let's ask Kenny Paul Kari and Aaron Gibbs. And Aaron, you know, are, are, uh, your, your thoughts as we head into earnings season? Uh, yeah, so it, we still have a, a fairly high level of volatility and uh, a fear out there, um, certainly around uh, inflation, interest rates, the latest variant of, of COVID. Um, and it, it seems to be dampening down and we're getting back to business, but you never know when that can flare up again. So when you have that type of fear and sentiment along with an earnings season, we know that that can really lead to a lot of volatility and some sort of like head scratching results when companies report. Uh, so basically I'm ready for the unexpected this season. <laughs> you know, Kenny, I, I do believe uh, sort of like the weather, a lot of companies that don't execute will blame COVID. But, but also from an investor point of view, because, you know, we've got this, uh, you know, this aura that, that Aaron described, I think we're set up for some positive reactions to numbers, un the ex ironically, the exact opposite of last earnings season. I, I think you're right. I think it, though, depends. Like, look, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for Friday starts the banks, right? We always see that they run the banks up ahead of the earnings, and then they try to take a little bit off after the earnings come out. But overall, as long as the stories haven't changed and the guidance is good, if any of these stocks back off, I think it's a big buying opportunity, especially now I'm kind of in that value that value theme. So any of the big cap names that, that come under some pressure for no other reason than there's a little bit of a nervousness or, or, or panic, I think that's a great buying opportunity. But I think you may be right. Even though the, the, the numbers are lower this quarter than what they were last quarter, I do think that the market feels like it wants to set up to do all right. I think the wild card out there is going to continue to be the Fed, the Fed meeting that's coming up, and then potentially what's going to happen could kind of derail exactly right. what you're talking about. So, Aaron, I know it might be crazy to say this now, but is there a sense that the market could almost be over this inflation scare already? You know, I've looked at a lot of uh, indicators, and when you look at, you know, the interest rates trajectory, um, how the riskier assets are doing that are more in, uh, inflation sensitive, there really aren't any signs that it's over just yet. And even if you look at um, inflation protection bonds, um, we've seen the prices only just flatten out in the past two days. So I don't think a two day trend is, is I'm not ready to call it just yet. Okay. I'm hopeful, but it, it, I don't see it in any of the markets. Two days does not make a trend. Uh, listen, I know neither one of you really high, uh, big time uh, buyers of high beta stocks, but I'm looking at a name like Teladox down over 70% from the 52 week high. Aaron, is there a time uh, when you start to look at something like that, I know they're still getting hammered. Zoom is down another four bucks a day. But do those things ever even become a value option? It, it, only For me, only when I see some positive fundamentals. And for, for Teladoc, I mean, they missed their last like, three out of their four earnings reports. And the revisions keep coming down. So analysts are, are still like pulling down their their estimates. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see them at least stabilize and maybe even have a couple quarters of beats before I really feel that it was like a safe yeah. enough value. Because right now the directory right. still looks outward. Yeah, I think bottom line there is you don't have to try to pick the bottom. I wish I had more time, guys. I kind of shortchanged you. But thank you always, always appreciate your.